going on guys welcome to the channel if this is your first time tuning in my name is Nick this is Saruti Auto make sure you guys like and subscribe and just like that let's go ahead and get this video started in today's video we're gonna be covering the 2021 BMW 228 now this is a problem that really shouldn't be a problem uh, I got in this car to start driving it and noticed that I couldn't find a digital speedometer it has the regular speedometer but you couldn't see the digital speed, so it was kind of tough to tell what speed you were actually going, which honestly got annoying very fast. So uh, I did a little bit of research, really couldn't find anything, so I wanted to make sure I could make this video, that way other people could figure it out. So let me show you. So the first thing I did is I went into the actual um, infotainment system itself. Uh, and if you go down over here to car, select that, and then you go to settings, you have a bunch of different settings that you can configure. So the first thing you wanna do is go to display, um, instrument panel, configure widgets. And these are all the widgets that are gonna pop up in your gauge cluster right here in the middle part. So what you wanna go ahead and do is make sure that converted speed is selected. And the thing is, is that that is not it. It shows it popping up, but once you select it, it's not just gonna show up. Now, typically when you're driving, uh, let's see if I can get it up. This is gonna be the screen that pops up. It has your total mileage and your mileage since the odometer has been reset. Um, so basically what you wanna do is go ahead and select that. So say it was unselected, you're gonna go ahead and select that. You're gonna come back over here and this is where it's a little tricky. On the left stalk, the turn signal stalk, you're actually gonna go ahead and click this top button right here where it says BC. You'll click through that a couple of times and eventually it will bring up the speedo. Now, for some reason I've also noticed it doesn't stay up um, every time you get in the car, but as long as you have this selected, um, and obviously you can exit out of it at that point, as long as you have this selected, um, once you get in your car, you can go ahead and just hit the BC button uh, it's scroll through the menu until you get to the speed again. So it will always be there. I uh, just have to kind of click through. It is annoying, probably a way to keep it set, but this was the only way I was able to find a actual digital speed readout. So let me know if this video helped you guys. All right, if you guys found this video helpful, please make sure you like the video and hit subscribe. I'm getting close to 100 subscribers. But anyway, that's going to conclude this video. Please feel free to check out some other ones. But just like that, this video is over, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.